Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you may have a laptop that's great for work, and even good for gaming. But if you feel somewhat cramped with the small screen, why not shake things up a bit with an extra monitor? Let's tuck in with Team Pandora. <coughs> this here was sent to us from Elecro for purpose of video review. No cash has been exchanged, and all thoughts and opinions are our own. So this is a Crowview 14-inch monitor for laptops, and it's compatible from 13-inch to 16.5. According to the outside of the box, it's a USB-C, has a large viewing angle, and can be twisted in a variety of ways. Here's the back of the box. And let's dive in. As we flip through the pages of the manual, I'm just gonna read out some specs. So this is a 1080p full HD monitor, 24 bits of color, a maximum of 60 hertz refresh rate, and 178 degrees of IPS monitor. It has two USB-C ports, both fully featured, and can deliver power, as well as video signal. Oh, it can also use mini HDMI. There's no speakers, but it has an audio jack, and it uses 4.8 watts of power. There are four physical buttons on the back of the display to control the menu, and whilst we're in, we can change the setting gear <laughs> As we see fit. Ooh, FreeSync. They've added a really nice touch of 80s, 90s nostalgia here, with these cute little stickers. Well, let's see what else we have in the box. We have whatever this is. The portable display cable strap and this here is a small power adapter it's 5 volts 2 amps and if we can't power it by USB-C we'll need to use this we get a HDMI to mini HDMI cable a USB-C to USB-C and a USB-A to USB-C we can use this if we don't have a USB-C port handy to power the monitor here it is and at first glance, it looks very black and something like a car travel accessory. A thin sheet of plastic protects it from scratches. And on the rear, we can see how many ways this thing can be mounted. First, we'll try it side by side. Let's just open it up. Let's pull it around the back here, stretch it out. And that should be it. There's a latch here. Let's peel this off. The bevels may be a bit large for some, but for this laptop, it fits right in. Let's try connecting it first with the USB-C cable. We do get power, but no video signal. We tried the other port, but the thing is this laptop cannot use USB-C for video signal, so we need to use the mini HDMI. Once all plugged in, it works no issues. You may notice that there's a slight green hue on the external display, but this seems to be fairly difficult to pick up with the naked eye. There are no latency issues, but we are limited to 60Hz, so it's not going to be the best for competitive gaming. The display menu has a few nice features like free sync, aspect ratio select, and ability to change the colors. There are many languages available, but getting around this menu is very difficult to do, especially as we only have a few buttons on the back of the screen. Saying that, you don't need to mess with the menu too much, as the screen is bright enough when it comes out of the box, even at 50% brightness. As with my desktop build, I prefer to extend the display, so I have more real estate in Windows. Now we can easily throw a video on one screen, while working on the other. Let's see how else we can connect the screen up. I'm not convinced, but this may have its uses. If you wanted to change the screen from the right to left, you can actually do it, but if you want to make it fit flush, you need to take off the hinge at the top. It's also upside down, so the menu is impossible to use now, but if you wanted to get the screen up right, you can use the Windows software. In the modded settings, change it to landscape flipped, and you're on your way. We tried to attach it to the top of the monitor, but it wasn't having it. But the thing is, this monitor actually has its own stand. To get to the Nintendo Switch style stand, pull it open like this, and then pop it out. We would have liked the stand to be a bit more solid, but as the display is fairly light, it doesn't need a lot to keep it stood up. But if you pop it down as is, it's pretty low. If we take another look at the stand, we can extend it and adjust it at will. All right, looking good. We can also mount it portrait style. 
So, uh, probably graphic artists use this, maybe? But here at Team Pandori, we prefer to do a bit of gaming. With two displays. If we start MAME with the command line MAME64 minus NUMSCREENS2, we can use multiple displays for games in arcade. Like X-Men. This uses two physical screens in the arcade, and this gap in the center we can get rid of if we use stretch screen. But I'm OG and love 4.3. And here's Ninja Warriors. This game in the arcade needed three screens, but it fits quite nicely in R2. The Crowview portable monitor is built quite well. It has a variety of mounting methods and the display is quite bright. We tested out the USB-C display connection on a mini PC and it worked as expected. As for the issues, we weren't impressed by the OSD menu, which was difficult to navigate and the stand could have been a bit heftier. If you want to see more of this monitor or anything else from Elecro, their website covers multiple ventures including DIY projects, 3D printing and PCB assembly. Links are in the description down below and this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! I am John Loop. I'll be here all night in my Ford Fiesta.